I'm Sadaf Shah Sahebi, and I am a front-end developer for Yap. I've always been interested in computers. Um, growing up, my dad was a big influence, and he is in the industry and into technology, so we always had a computer in the house. Um, I can remember having internet as like far back as when I was like eight or nine years old. Um, so it's always been, you know, an interest of mine, a hobby of mine. I started programming when I was in middle school, so as part of my curriculum at the school I went to, and then I continue taking classes and um, just basically programming on spare time like when I was in high school so when it was time for college I knew exactly what my major was going to be and what I wanted to do coming out. I recently graduated from UCLA in 2007. I was a computer science major and um, I focused a lot on back-end engineering at the time. Um, when I was back in school was actually when I got interested in working at Yahoo and had the opportunity to intern there for a couple of summers. After I graduated through my internships, I was able to land a position um, as a front-end developer. So I kind of switched up the fields a little bit between what I was doing at school and what I was going to work on here at Yahoo. As a front-end here at Yahoo, you have a basic general set of core skills that you need to know going into the job and that includes being able to write semantic HTML, cross-browser compliance CSS, JavaScript, Ajax, um, and a little bit of like PHP or some working knowledge of a scripting language. But aside from that, you're pretty flexible in what tools and technologies you can use when you're implementing a design or a project. So when building the Yap front end, one technology that I used was the actual YUI JavaScript li library, which is very common with front ends here at Yahoo. And um, for Yap, I use more of the core YUI components and less of the interactive UI widget components. Um, I use it to be able to like, you know, properly namespace our JavaScript, be able to um, access the DOM, um, make XHR requests, um, parse JSON, etc. So um, YUI is a great utility. You know, it does so many things so well that there really is no need to reinvent the wheel there. Performance is a huge factor here at Yahoo. Um, with the amount of traffic we get any given second, you know, it's really important that we're fast and that we scale well to meet all that traffic. As a front-end developer, when you're taking performance into consideration, you can do a varying set of things. You can go as refined as like in your code deciding which function calls to use based on you know speed or you can go you know into the general structure and code layout of your page and like you know try to minimize the number of outbound HTTP requests. So one great tool for that is actually YSlow and a lot of front-end developers choose to use it. It basically does an analysis of your web page's performance and based on you know a set of predefined um, performance criteria, it gives a grade to different aspects of your page and kind of, you know, gives you suggestions about how and what to do to improve the performance of your page. Yap as a platform is meant to open up Yahoo to third-party developers. And when you open yourself up like that, you're also opening yourself up to a lot of security concerns. So for Yap, we want to address those concerns by being able to allow consumers to safely, you know, utilize these applications from like, you know, developed by such a great variety of sources. So what we do is we take two approaches. The first is YML and the second is Kaha. YML is just a set of predefined ta tags and markup the developer can include in their application and what it does is it makes any kind of like data requests for you so if you want to for example show like you know a user's name in your application we handle the request for you or what it can do is it could safely embed JavaScript that we at Yahoo have written to do functionality so there's a YML share tag which allows you to share your applications with your connections. It includes the JavaScript that brings up a dialog box within your application. So um, that's one method of safely providing you know, um, other people's code 
inside Yahoo. Another mechanism is Kaha, which is actually an open source project um, started up by Google and which we have incorporated as part of our platform. And what that does is it sanitizes any developer written JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and removes a lot of what we consider to be unsafe actions and it properly namespaces a lot of the code that um, developers write so that in effect you get a subset of the language that is safe to use within Yahoo.